Hello everyone, uh, this is Max and he's going to hang out with us while I go over my ADC here with you today. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to let you know what I'm carrying. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you some beauty shots of it. I'm going to let you know why I picked that particular item over other items in my collection. Uh, we're going to go over some things I might change about those particular items. And uh, I'm going to give you my final thoughts. So stay tuned. So uh, what we're going to talk about first here are uh, some EDC knives. Uh, yeah, show you what I got. I'm going to throw this guy in here too. Okay, so one of the most important parts of my EDC kit is going to be my knife. The first one I have here is going to be the Topps Knives MSK uh, Mini Scandi Knife. It comes with a Kydex sheath and you've got the neck lanyard here. So this is a picture of the knife. Very sharp, uh, not, not too big, uh, but it's perfect. I mean, there's a lot of times when I'm wearing this that I completely forget it's there. Um, you want to keep a light coat of oil on it. Uh, it does allow you to get a pretty good grip on there. You get a pretty good purchase. Uh, this jimping here on the back of the spine is really good. It allows you to get that tactile grip so you're not going to slip. And it's a fixed blade, it's full tank, so it's going to be a lot stronger if you're having to pry something laterally versus a folding knife. So the Topps Knives MSK. This is something that I have with me every day. It's for one of the first things I put on in the morning when I get up. Uh, my car is scales, it's, it's perfect, I love it. Uh, you know, then I have, um, here is a Kershaw. It's a Cryo 2. Uh, this is a great little knife. Uh, again, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, you've got the lock here, frame lock. This is a great little folder. It sharpens really easily. Uh, it goes through boxes, it goes through uh, other man made material, paracord, everything really easily, no problems. Uh, the good thing though is it is, it is lightweight. Uh, this pocket clip, so you can see that, does allow it to ride deep carry. Uh, so you're not going to have very much sticking out of your pockets at all. You do have their speed safe opener. So the Kershaw Cryo 2, nice little pocket knife. Uh, I also have the Kershaw Blur. This is a very fast deploying knife, assisted opener. Also has a liner lock. I went with the OD green scales with the black texturing. Um, I'm able to get sharpen it really well. Uh, it takes a very fine edge. Um, I personally enjoy having this really nice grip. Uh, got a little bit of jimping here. I don't really notice it too much, um, but it's a great all-around blade. Served me well. Used it a lot. Had it for a few years. Uh, no problems. I wouldn't mind adding a couple more to the collection just to have because it's such a great little blade. The Victorianox uh, Fieldmaster. This is a multi-tool here. I think that uh, having this on my person is always a great idea. I do keep a Leatherman multi-tool in my bag that's uh, normally going to be in my truck or sometimes I'll take it into the office with me. Um, but this is a great little option here. I went with that one because I didn't need the corkscrew. I thought that was a uh, a waste of a tool for me so I went with the Fieldmaster that does not have the corkscrew. Uh, I figured it would be something I would actually use more. I do really like the idea of a toothpick here along with uh, some tweezers. So pretty neat little features there. Okay. Um, another one that, that I've worked a lot into my rotation is the Cold Steel Recon 1. Uh, this is very old. This is in the OS8 steel. I believe now they're offering it in a different metal. Uh, this is a spear point. Uh, this has seen a lot of work. This is a user blade. Uh, I, the serrations, uh, I do keep those sharp. Um, I got a nice new finish on the edge here so it works really well. The thing I love most about this knife is the grip. Um, it allows you to get a really good solid grip on there. I felt feel if I had to use this in some sort of de defensive situation that uh, my hand's not going to slide up the blade. 
I really like the cold steel triad lock. Uh, the only one of the only downsides to this knife for me is that it's not something that I can deploy with one hand. It is going to take both hands to close. Uh, sometimes you can do one hand opening, but uh, it is a little tough. There is a, a lot of tension on that, but uh, this is a great knife. Very solid. I uh, love that grip. If you're looking for something that's more tactical, something that you might have to use in a defensive situation, this is an excellent choice. I mean, you just that grip, your hand is it's just made to fit your hand. So, great choice. Cold Steel Recon 1. The Spider Co Resilience. Uh, this is a little bit longer. Uh, I know the Tenacious is pretty popular. Uh, but I went with the Resilience because I wanted a little bit longer blade. This is the 8CR13 MOV. Now this knife takes a wicked edge. As... I mean, as old as this knife is, uh, to be this sharp, I mean, and just to take the edge like... Look at that. Nice, slow... Perfect. You can do a contour. I mean, this this is just such a sharp knife. Um, it's really great. Uh, the only downside to it is it is a little big. As you can see, it's uh, very similar to maybe the Spyderco Paramilitary. The way the pocket clip rides. I mean, you have you can see you have quite a bit up top here. This is, again, the Spyderco Resilience. It does have pretty good weight to it. You've got full steel liners here. Uh, they are skeletonized a little bit. Uh, you had some cutouts here in the middle. So, great knife. I mean, super sharp. Uh, as long as I've had it, I don't have any discernible side-to-side -side play. Uh, front to back, none at all. Great knife. It is going to be the uh, Manix 2X. This is the XL, so a uh, little extra blade, a lot extra handle. For me, this is perfect. Uh, again, I tend to like larger knives. Um, does have the ball bearing lock. G10 on this is textured very, very well. It allows me to get a really good grip. There's lots of jimping on here. Uh, some people say it really bothers them, creates hot spots. I personally haven't noticed any of that. Uh, made in good old. Earth, planet Earth. You can't ask for much more than that. You do have the CPM S30B steel. So, the Spyderco Manix 2XL. I believe this also has the 14 millimeter Spidey hole similar to the Paramilitary 2. The absolute newest to my collection, the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Great knife, absolutely love it. It's brand new to my collection. Such a great feel. It's perfect. No complaints. Um, I love it. Um, you know, only time will tell. Um, as I, the more time I have with it, the better I'll be able to review this for you guys. But for now, uh, thumbs up. One of my first impressions. Can't wait to carry this get some time and uh, see how it carries, see how it feels, see how it resharpens. So all these knives are new and I love it. Alright, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, moving on, we'll be talking about uh, my EDC pistols. Thank you. Alright everybody, I am back. Uh, so what we're going to go over now are the uh, pistols that I carry on a daily basis. My EDC pistol. Uh, so you see two here obviously. Um, don't think that I do carry two pistols every day because I don't. Um, but these are the two that I normally go between. I mean there are occasions where I will switch between um, other pistols in my collection. But for the most part it's going to be one of these two. Uh, generally speaking, it's going to it's going to be this option here. 
This is my Glock 30S. Um, it's a great pistol. I absolutely love it. Uh, it does carry 10 rounds of 45 ACP. Um, I do have the custom sheath here, or holster, sorry, that I had made. Uh, custom, Canyon's custom holsters. You see the American flag on there. Great little detail. Um, Custom sheaths are definitely the way to go. Custom holsters are definitely the way to go. Um, sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, but this pistol is great. Uh, let's go ahead and safety check. So it is empty. Uh, the magazine is hot, but we're not going to be racking the slides, so we don't have anything to worry about there. Um, I mean, this pistol is just great. It fits my hand. Um, I love that it's got that extra pinky extension. Uh, really allows me to get a full five finger grip on there. Um, I do have the True True Glow uh, night sights on here. Um, I mean, I carry this appendix style. Um, I do always carry the spare mag, uh, 10 rounds, 10 additional rounds. Um, so we have 20 plus one. Um, there's always gonna be that plus one that I'm carrying. Uh, obviously, not it's not needed now. But uh, this is my Glock 30S. Great EDC pistol, uh, very thin. The next option I have is gonna be the Six Hour P229 Enhanced Elite. Uh, this is a great pistol, absolutely love it. Um, just gonna safety check that first. So as you can see here, there's nothing loaded. Uh, again, these are my EDC pistols, so they are both loaded. Um, I mean, I am very accurate with this gun. Also with this, I mean, that's one of the main reasons why I carry these guns is because I am able to hold rounds where I want them to downrange. Um, the P229 Enhanced Elite, uh, one of the reasons I chose this over just the regular is because of the extended beaver tail. It's something for me, a uh, feature that I wanted personally. Um, I really love this enhanced ergos grip, this E2 grip. Uh, it's perfect, fits my hand really well. I'm able to track really well with it, uh, move around. Uh, the Siglite night sights are perfect on there. Um, can't ask for anything better. Uh, does have the, no external safety, but you do have the decocker there. Um, this is a California approved pistol, so it does have the uh, loaded chamber indicator here. Um, yeah. and this is what I'm carrying it in. This is the uh, Alien Gear 2.0. Um, Ever since I purchased the Glock 30S, uh, or I got it as a gift, I don't carry the SIG as much, but I still do. These are the only two that I will carry on a regular basis. You don't get a discernible click like you would with a full Kydex holster, but it does lock in um, pretty good. So if I hold it upside down, um, I'm not gonna fall out. This is the Alien Gear inner waistband holster. Um, I love this pistol. Six hour though, I absolutely love it. Um, great collection piece, great user option. Um, haven't had any failures. I take care of it, it takes care of me. It is my EDC flashlight. So I'm always gonna have uh, this little O-Light S1 baton. Um, this thing is super bright. I can't remember the, the lumen output. I believe it's somewhere around 500 off of one CR123A lithium battery. Super lightweight, you do get a pocket clip there. Um, I absolutely love this. I mean, I went with the rechargeable option, um, you know, but every now and then I'll pop in a regular battery to extend that battery life. Something else that I'm always gonna have with me as part of my EDC kit is gonna be this uh, Zippo lighter. Now, obviously you saw the ferrocium rod there earlier, but I'm always gonna carry this. I just think it's neat. As you can see, it's nice and windy here and it didn't go out. So that's one of the good things about the Zippos is that it is going to be wind resistant to help you start fires. Uh, great option. Um, I'm always going to have that with me.